Hey everyone, this is David Pike, Motor City Mechanic. I've got another video for you today on a 2015 Ram ProMaster City. The ProMaster being the bigger brother, this is the smaller version. It's a cargo van for those that don't know what a ProMaster is. I want to show you step by step how to remove the rear tail lamp assembly and how to gain access to the bulb. So get ready to check it out. Alright, so in order to get this tail lamp assembly off, we've got some fasteners that actually are inside right behind this door lip here. So we're going to have to open the door to get to it first and then maneuver the lamp assembly out of the way. So we'll go ahead, we're going to be doing the passenger side, so we'll just go ahead and open the door. Now, to allow us to get a little better access to the fasteners, if you pull on the yellow right here, you can actually, or push on it, excuse me, you can actually open the door further, it releases the catch sort it up even further so what we got we got three Phillips screws one here here and here we'll go ahead and back out now you're not going to be able to get the assembly off with the door open now we had to open the door in order to get to the fasteners so we'll go ahead and start swinging it back we'll let the latch catch We'll go ahead and just partially now we're going shut to go it. around to the outside. We're going to do a combination of two things. We're going to use a plastic trim stick on the outside edge and try to pop it loose that way and get it out. So the finger right here, as you can see, it's moving. Just be careful not to pinch your finger inside the door in case it wasn't shut. I just leave it propped open. Now I can use my trim stick, work around the edge, knock it loose, and then kind of maneuver it up and out of the hole. Now you do have a connector back here you need to get to before you take the whole assembly off. Alright, so we got the wire put out as far as it go. The connector on the back is just a push-in type connector to squeeze in, pull it off. Now we got the whole tail lamp assembly that we can disassemble and get the bulbs out. Now in order to gain access to the bulbs, we're going to have to take the back uh, plastic cover off that has the connector on it. Now there are a total of six Phillips screws. once you get the Phillips screws on it still kind of latches on so there's multiple ways it's held in place you got a little catch right here so point it up there we go now there's another wire that goes down in here it runs to the side for the reflector so in order to get to the bulbs here we go now you've got everything from your turn signals, your backup, your stops, everything. And these are actually some real old school type bulbs that you just push in on, rotate, pull up. For example, this is old style 1057. That 1057 is for when you're running and brake lights. And then you've got these bulbs right here that are basically almost from what I've been seeing lately, seem like they're made onto the board. Uh, I haven't had much luck getting them out. You might be able to force them out, but for the way they've been designed, from what I'm seeing, they seem to stay in place. So that's how you get the bulbs out. And when you go back, just go ahead and rotate it upside down. Make sure that wiring harness that we were talking about right here is still snug up inside. Push it down, make sure it snaps in place. You got a couple snaps. There we go. And then we're just going to put a total of six Phillips screws back on. And then the installation is just opposite of removal. So there you have it. The repair procedure wasn't that complicated, it's just knowing where everything is and making sure you don't break nothing. Now, the we did the passenger side, driver's side is exactly the same, so there's not going to be any difficult. And like I said, to aid in doing it, make sure you push on the yellow latches on the rear hatch door, that way you can get a little more pivot, a little more room to work. So, pretty cut and dry like I said. Uh, so at this point, hey, any kind of thumbs up on YouTube? You can like me on Facebook and you can follow me on Twitter. And if you scroll to the bottom of the screen in the description, you'll find a link to both of those. So in the meantime, thanks for watching, everyone.